There was a rather prominent uh, Dominican mystic in the Middle Ages, a man by the name of Meister Eckhart. And he offered a thought once. Uh, I'm sure he preached it, but he probably also wrote it down. And his thought was, if the only prayer you said was thank you, that would be enough. And I thought of that uh, as I prepared for today because of our readings, particularly our first reading and the gospel. We have that famous story of Naaman, uh, the commander of the Syrian army. He's not an Israelite. He's a foreigner. And he comes to Israel at the request of his servant, who happened to be a little Israel girl. Uh, and he's looking for healing. He's got leprosy, or at least he has a, a rather bad skin disease. A and as we hear today, he's healed after plunging himself into the Jordan River seven times. A and he's so profoundly grateful, as you would think he would be, as anybody would be who has struggled and suffered with, with an illness like that. And he offers a word of thanks. Uh, and by the end of the story, we find out that he now believes in God. And then we have the famous story in Luke's gospel of the ten lepers who, who encounter Jesus as he's making his journey to Jerusalem, and, and they ask to be healed. And without any fanfare, Jesus sends them away, says, Go show yourselves to the priest under the uh, precepts of the law, and you'll be healed. And as they're going, they're healed. And one of them, a Samaritan, again, not somebody part of the faith community, uh, realizes it and returns to Jesus and says, thank you. Uh, you know, it gives real meaning uh, to those words of Meister Eckhart. If the only prayer we ever said was, thank you, that would be enough uh, to acknowledge that presence of God. Now, for the ten lepers and for Naaman, th there's a profound thing that happens in their life, and it's probably easy for them to be thankful. But, but we still have to be thankful every day. I I'm sure I've shared this with you from time to time, but uh, several years ago, I decided to change the routine of my life, and I now get up somewhere between 4 o'clock and 4.30 in the morning. And I make my way downstairs, and I grab a cup of coffee, and I go out to this beautiful room we have in our residence that looks out over our property and the street in front of us. And I sit there in the dark for an hour, sort of a way to start my day. But the first thing I do when I sit down and get myself settled, I say, good morning, God, and thank you for a new day. I'm going to look forward to the blessings that I encounter today. Now, it's nothing profound. I haven't been healed of anything. But, but it, it has changed my perspective. It has changed how I wander through the day. And a lot of my days, there aren't real good things that happen, but it gets me through. Uh, it, it makes me keep looking for the blessings of God that day. Uh, it, it changes my perspective. Uh, and so I think maybe our readings today just remind us that one of the, the, the virtues or the values of being a person of faith, of being a disciple, is to be a thankful, grateful person, even when we're struggling, e even when maybe life isn't easy to live, T to acknowledge that God is always there, walking with us on this journey. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible 